The hardest thing about living in an apartment is finding a way to mask the smell of my 420 friendly neighbor who is YOLOing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. After that, it's probably managing your volume. So I wanna do a quick demo of the Supro Delta King 10, five watt amp, that has really been the MVP of my entire stay in this apartment this month. Uh, I have a Supro Black Magic at home, which is a much bigger amp. It makes a lot of noise, gets really loud, it's perfect for a studio. But this thing has impressed me to no end, and I just kind of wanted to talk about why that is, okay? So, first of all, I mean, it sounds... Sounds great. This is definitely what I would say even below speaking volume. I have it mic'd up with Neumann KM184, and I also have the line out going direct in. So you're going to hear both of those in just a second. But uh, I'm really impressed with the line out, especially for a tube amp. A lot of tube amps don't have line outs, but this one has one that really sounds great. So I'm just going to play it uh, just for a minute, just so you can kind of hear it. Uh, yeah, just something like this. Some... So as you can hear, it's kind of like a blend between just the DI and just the mic. Again, uh, all of it is like really, really usable. I'm gonna be using this to track different parts. Now, what you have here, you have just regular on and off. You have a standby, so. See, just turn the amp off like that, turn it back on, standby. Really great feature to have, especially for a smaller amp. A lot of the smaller amps do not have standby switches. Then you've got master volume. Again, this right now, like I said, more like speaking level is really on like, gosh, maybe like three out of 10 right now. Uh, it has reverb, so there's just a little bit of reverb, maybe 20%. Again, you can dime it out. It's an analog spring reverb. So the nice thing that I like about Super o amps, and especially the reverb that is pretty similar to the Black Magic one that I have at home, uh, w when you dime it out like that, eh, it's not an unusable reverb wash. It still sounds really good, right? More, maybe more, you know, than I would normally have. But again, dimed out sounds great. And then it has treble and bass adjustments, right? So I just have these set to even. Usually I might take the bass up a little bit and keep the treble at even just because it still, sound, it still sounds big. That's what's really impressive from a 10 inch speaker, five watts, it still has a nice full round sound. Pairs really great with this D'Angelico Mini DC that I'm using. Uh, and then it also has a optional foot switch you can get to do the boost. It has a Pigtronics boost section in here and also just kind of like a, a drive. So if I turn the drive on, it gets a little louder. Let me turn the reverb down a little bit. So again, it's super, super beefy. I'm gonna do an example where I use just kind of like the clean setting for a chord progression, and then I'll do like the solo with the drive section on. And uh, again, super, at, at the time I'm shooting this video, this amp is under $600. So this video isn't sponsored, but I do have a Sweetwater affiliate link in the description uh, that you can use for, for any of this stuff, because all this stuff really helps me out. So yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna track some music with this bad boy, and uh, let me know what you guys think.